you want to know about the secrets of article writing in O-level English exam, you are advised to watch this video till the end. So we will discuss about article writing, its marks scheme about article writing and the format of article writing, the use of language and we will also provide you a sample of articles and then at the end of this video you will find some question papers for practice. It also includes the specimen paper for practicing because there was an article writing questions in the directed writing section in writing paper and also I have designed special sample questions for article writing for you so you can find it in the end of this video so watch the complete video and then practice article writing after understanding all the topics related to article writing let's begin so actually article writing is a part of directed writing is a type of directed writing where you are given certain directions to be followed and it this is 25 mark section you will be given reading text so we, you will have reading text a and b you will read both of them to get ideas content 15 marks are there for your writing ability how well you write the arguments and content and 10 marks are to assess your reading ability how well you understood and how well you are able to use that content that you read in the reading text and how you can use the the points the content that you abstract from the reading text how can you use it perfectly for a specific use so to attend this question well you must be good at both skills reading and writing so what is an article let's have an overview of the article the purpose of an article is often to inform and persuade the reader so there are two purpose here to inform and sometime to persuade so hopefully you would you would have read newspaper articles you might have read your college or university school magazine articles and we have other type of uh, articles as well like medical articles articles about diseases artic articles about different social aspects articles about politics like that so articles uh, actually give the reader information about a certain topic bringing together and discussing different perspectives to provide a balanced argument that is what we say to inform so which lets the reader make up their own mind about the topic that is also a discursive type of writing where you give uh, actually both aspects or all the aspects of a topic uh, basically you want to inform your reader so this is one purpose and the other that is to persuade the readers so articles can also be used to persuade the reader that a certain viewpoint is correct for example articles in newspapers or magazines might express a particular viewpoint or perspective this may be positive or negative depending on the topic so in this case you are there to persuade whether in favor of the topic or against it but you want to persuade so articles can be of both types these two types are regarding the purpose of an article then the use of uh, language and organization of ideas two important things in writing the article is what type of language basically you will use like what type of language you will use and so uh, the use of language it's tone the type of vocabulary grammar structure everything and the organization of ideas depend on purpose and audience i have already told you about the purpose what is an audience audience can be like young age people like it can be some intellectual elite so the way you use language and organize your ideas when writing an article will depend on the audience and the purpose you are writing for so let's first discuss about the use of language while writing an article so think about the audience that article is for when writing an article you do not usually know your readers personally and so you will need to think about their likely interests and experience before you write now the other thing that is needed to be considered is how you expect or want your audience to react remember that the tone of most articles should be semi-formal so before deciding on your tone imagine your article being read out loud and how that might sound to your reader for example an article reviewing a film may be humorous even sarcastic but that would not work well for more serious readers or topics and the other thing to be considered is the purpose for the article 
is the purpose or reason for writing your article is to persuade your readers to agree with you or to invite your readers to think about different points of view and decide for themselves. For example, do you need to sound reliable and well-informed or choose words that strongly convey a particular emotion? So in this way, language use and organization will depend on the purpose of article. Now the other thing to be considered is how to keep your readers interest. Imagine how boring it would be for your reader if you use the same kind of sentences and simple repetitive vocabulary. So repetitive vocabulary when you are repeating again and again the same words all the way through your article. So it will be boring. Try to include a range of grammatical structures and relevant vocabulary basically to make sure that your reader wants to keep reading. So how will you get this wide range of vocabulary and grammatical structures? Of course you need to, lead, uh, to read a lot of English text, a variety of English text like newspaper articles, magazine articles. You will find a lot of expressions, phrases and clauses and grammatical structures and different vocabulary items to express the same idea. So in that way you can make it more reliable and interesting. Now let's discuss the format of the article and how to organize your ideas when writing an article. So plan a route through your article before you start writing it. The structure of an article is usually in three parts. For example, the first part can be an introduction and overview. So engage your reader's interest and introduce your argument or the main points of the topic that you are going to discuss. Then there will be the middle part. In this middle part, you can add two, three, four, five content points divided into different paragraphs. So in this middle part, you develop relevant and interesting points. You can make new paragraphs or a new point about the topic to interest and or convince your readers to think about a particular perspective. So then there will be an end. So an end in this section, you will draw your points together and leave your reader with a clear impression of the argument you want them to believe or the viewpoints you want you would like them like to consider. So in the end, you will also like conclude, you give your own point of view if it has been asked clearly in the directions given to you in the directed writing section for writing an article. Few more points to be considered that you should organize your ideas into paragraphs as appropriate. This will help you to develop and support your points convincingly. To build your argument and or offer a full explanation of a particular point of view. A suitable headline. This is very important and is required for starting your article. So in, through this show your reader at a glance what your article is about. Articles usually have a suitable headline to attract their readers attention and you can choose to use subheadings a bit like mini headlines to help break your article up and move your reader on but do not overdo these but well chosen subheadings can help to catch and keep your readers attention as well as sum up the main points you are making. Then you should show the connections between ideas and sentences and paragraphs. For example, where a new point or idea, idea follows on from what you have already said, you might use linking words or phrases such as in addition, likewise, similarly. So I will soon also share a short video for you. I will upload it regarding the linking words and phrases to help you for this. Here is a sample article that was issued by Cambridge Assessment International Education. This is very beautiful according to the latest syllabus. So ex here is an article that online friendships true or false. Keep in your mind that now in your paper from 2024 onward according to new syllabus there will be two reading texts that you will be reading to write the article. So I will share the specimen paper as well after let's move through this article and then I will share with you. There you will also have an opportunity to see what kind of reading texts are given to you to write your own article. So here you can see the heading, headline, online friendships, true or false. So this is the topic. 
the learner uses a heading that is relevant to the topic of the article so you can see in the first paragraph there is an overview introduces the topic in the first paragraph and uses a rhetorical question to engage the reader in recent years technology has taken over our daily lives many people claim that they simply could not imagine a life without the internet and social media so are your online friendships doing you more harm than good so it's type of rhetorical question to engage the audience and it also sets up an overview or introduction of the article. So it has become commonplace in our society to argue that technology is the reason for people being socially distant and experiencing loneliness. Some studies. So using these type of things, the paragraph identifies contrasting viewpoints, making it clear where there is support for one view or another. And also, can you see there is some studies show it's not like the his personal argument. No, it's like some studies show a, show a correlation between social media usage and low self-esteem. Although there is no solid proof showing that this is the main cause. Indeed, others have come to the defense of the internet and claim it has done the opposite, helped to revive social relationships. Now there is contrastive argument from both sides. Some people find it easier to form relationships when they are hidden behind a screen. It allows them to be themselves without fear of rejection, ridicule, and judgment. So the learner is trying to vary sentence structure and vocabulary. Like some people find it easier to form. Soon they become confident enough to merge their virtual personalities with their offline personalities, becoming a more authentic version of themselves. However, so now however, this is a linking verb that word that learner has used in a very appropriate way at the beginning of a paragraph to show they are about to offer a new contrasting argument. So however it can be said that online relationships are weaker and not as real as face-to-face -face relationships. Online relationships are formed easily and quickly. They are not the same as a physical relationship. You might not know anything about an online friend other than things they choose to post on the internet unless you make a point of communicating with all of them for at least two hours every week. You cannot even call it to a real friendship. The strength of an offline relationship lies in the experiences you share together in the real world. True, it could be argued that online relationships are not particularly meaningful, but saying that social media friendships are false is not correct. So uh, the, now the, the writer is also like counterbalancing and giving a counter argument that and rejecting the idea that social media friendships are false always he's rejecting by saying not correct you and your friends real friends may not always be able to meet in person now the learner develops the argument that only friendships are useful and supports it by reference to a quotation from an expert because he has used these inverted commas explains one lifestyle expert social media can be used to keep in touch and ensure that your relationships phase in until the next time you meet and where else you can bond over silly and fun things like memes and cute cat videos your social media friendship ensures that no matter how far apart you are you can always be there for each other now having discussed a number of the arguments you have noticed that learner leaves the reader with a strong impression of the value of social media friendship so at the end the writer is giving argument in the favor of the benefits of social media now this was a sample now let's move to the specimen paper of 2024 where they had given article writing questions a question in a directed writing so this is your specimen english paper writing paper two there is a total two hours so you will have one hour for section a and one hour for section b let's move to directed writing here it is can you see read both texts and answer question number one so you have reading text A and then you have reading text B. Text A is written by a 42-year-old writer and text B is written by a 23-year-old writer. And Amara, who is 42 years old writer, talks about the importance of staying at one's own country and not traveling too much to other countries, much belonging to native lands. Why? Because uh, the writer is an old age, not having that type of enthusiasm and passion that young people have. But a 23-year-old in text B was in favor of traveling to other countries, learning languages, and exploring more. Now you will read both of these texts. And here is the question. Write a magazine article for young people about the advantages and disadvantages of traveling to other countries. Now hopefully you would have noticed the piece of information in this question for young people. So 
in this way you can find the audience your audience that who will read the article are young people so young people are more in need of traveling and enthusiasm and passion is there you have to give them advice but keep in your mind you have to talk about both things advantages and disadvantages so consider both arguments from both type of text given so you will have uh, now notice these points in your article you should evaluate the ideas the ideas and opinions in both text then give your own views based on what you have read in the text about the advantages and disadvantages of traveling to other countries now base your article on what you have read in both text but be careful to use your own words you will read both text carefully address both of the bullet points mean evaluating the ideas and opinion in the both text analyzing them in your mind and adding both type of arguments it, it will be a, a type of discursive writing where you are not supposed to persuade rather to inform the readers and leaving upon them to decide for themselves begin your article with a suitable headline that mean you have to add a title for your article make it sure that you write about 250 to 350 words up to 10 marks are available for the content on your of your answer that you will abstract by reading the reading text a and b and up to 15 marks for the quality of your writing your spelling grammar punctuation and how well do you organize your text your wide range of vocabulary and grammatical structures and things like that so write this article and you can share with me through the whatsapp and let me check how well do you write to practice for exam and then i will share now at the end i am going to show you some more exercises so that you may practice well your article writing now pause this video to read this text carefully this is text a by 35 year old writer pause the video get sc screenshots of these videos these text passages to read them well read both of the art both of these short descriptive text and then write a magazine article for young people about the impact of technology on social interactions in your article you should include evaluate the ideas and opinion in both text give your own views based on what you have read in the text about the impact of technology on social interactions begin your article with a suitable headline and 250 to 2 the 350 words you can use now here is the second exercise question for you to practice you can pause the video or you can take screenshot of the text a and then here is text b that you can take a screenshot of so again pause the video and read this complete text a and b now there is an article writing write a magazine article for young people about the advantages and disadvantages of online learning compared to traditional classroom learning in your article you should evaluate the ideas and opinions in both texts give your own views based on what you have read in the text about the advantages and disadvantages of online learning compared to traditional classroom learning begin your write article with a suitable headline to 50 to 350 words again hopefully you would have enjoyed article writing for if you want to learn about other all the topics of o level english 1 1 2 you can join our online classes and you can also keep watching all the videos that we have added for you thanks for watching